So I've stopped at services just briefly because essentially I've had a total mare this morning. I've got COVID. I woke up feeling really, really ill. Haven't been able to eat, um, but I've just drank lots and I'm feeling a bit perky now. So I set off, rode for maybe 30 minutes and then realized I didn't even have my bag. <laughs> so I then had to ride back and now I'm a little bit late. So I'm filling up with petrol and I just stopped to put my liner on, but it's now really sunny. It was chucking it down with rain a minute ago um, and I was getting cold. So I stopped to put my liner on and the sun's come out. It's gonna be that kind of day on the bike. I just met a really nice couple there in the trans Alps just behind me. They are off for an adventure and they have no idea where they're going. So they're on the bike and they're just set off and they sort of said, we're just gonna see where we go, maybe Wales. <laughs> I said maybe I'll see you there but yeah how cool is that I love the idea of just like I used to do that a lot on my bike years ago before kids um I wouldn't really do it for like for days but maybe just for the day um just ride and see where the road took me um but yeah I love the spirit of this couple just out for a few days they don't even know where they're going it's hammering it down again I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I've got very wet already. I'm running really late. And I'm wondering how much my phone can be stand picking out in the rain before it breaks. Well, we'll go find out. <laughs> Views for the toll. Um, it so feels like I could be able to just filter up in the middle and get waved by and not pay. But apparently even bikes have to pay now. It's rubbish. Myself, the username Kate and Lucia are off to Wales for a weekend riding, all three of the next gen Ducati Scramblers, the Icon, Night Shift and Full Throttle. The plan was three girls and three days with the idea to ride a different model each day. So I started off on the Night Shift. I collected it a few days earlier from Ducati HQ so I had a few days to get to know the bike before the trip. We were all using Oxford Aqua D70 waterproof duffel bags for our bike luggage, which I'll say I thought was really great. It came with enough straps to make it totally secure, which was useful since I stuffed it to the brim with things I didn't actually need. It's huge and you could fit so much in, even a camping chair, which I ditched last minute and regretted immediately. The day started with a ride to Shrewsbury to meet the girls and Mike. Kate's boyfriend, who had somehow got roped into coming along to capture some drone footage on the way. To our first destination, which was Lynn Brianne, where we'd wave goodbye to Mike and have our first wild camp of the trip.
So the Scrambler Night Shift, let's call it the calf racer of the group with its flat handlebars and bar end mirrors. It's a really classy looking kind of city bike, yet due to probably its Scrambler heritage, it really came alive riding the valleys of Wales. The bike is so light that the first thing I nearly did when I got on it was throw it straight over to the other side onto the ground. As for an 803cc bike, I was expecting something a little bit heavier. It's got black spoke wheels and it just comes in one colour, this blue with the brown seat. Yet it's full of great tech, it's multimedia ready, it's got cornering ABS, two riding modes, road and sport, and it's just shy of £11,000. Which, to be fair to it, this bike is pristine. You can tell it's a Ducati. It's a really beautiful class of bike. And for the price, I actually think it's absolutely more than fair. It's not the most powerful bike. It's 73 horsepower and 65 meter meters of torque. So it's not gonna blow your socks off. But I found this bike was just great for this kind of look. And I'm happy to take it again in a heartbeat. I was surprised to find it really quite comfortable on the motorway, probably due to its easy riding position and the fact that even with pack all the gear, the bike just weighed absolutely nothing and it just made everything that bit easier. Whether it was slow speeds, really high inclines, gravel roads, muddy country lanes, traffic that you actually had to remain stuck in, you name it. The bike was just a really, really easy, pleasant bike to ride. it just really proved that you don't need an adventure bike to have an adventure. This Scrambler is a great all-rounder and for a great price and I was really excited to try out the Icon and the full throttle over the next couple of days. is Devil's Staircase. It's a nice, short, but fairly challenging section to ride, especially when you're on it with a whole load of land roads. ride up here. Devil's staircase apparently. <sighs> really, really, really fucking steep as you can imagine. Feels really nice. And of course my uh, <laughs> Insta360 ran out of battery. There's always something with me. Always something. Yeah, how epic is this? There we are.
so in the middle of nowhere. Uh, me and Lucia have just had to ride about 20, 30 minutes or so away from where we actually camped for the night in order to get a tiny bit of signal just so that our loved ones know that we're alive. Um, she's gone off to go get some petrol and I'm gonna see if I can find my way back. <laughs> Pretty cool view though. great day riding the night shift across Wales with the girls and I was looking forward to day two. Join me on the next video when I ride the icon.